certified most accurate. Good evening, everyone. All right, first weather cast of 2016, and we start off with an Arctic Air Watch unofficial. The Weather Service hasn't issued this, I have, and that is for early next week as the jet stream allows a chunk of cold air to dive all the way down just onto Tulsa's doorstep. So we're going to be right on the edge of that with below zero readings in the morning in Omaha, Nebraska, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pierce, South Dakota, Tulsa, uh, maybe Sunday morning, Monday morning in the upper teens. Daytime highs may struggle to reach 30 degrees and we'll have to wait and see if we can get any precipitation to come in here and give us at least a chance of snow. St. Louis and Chicago could be down all the way to around one degree today. It was a pretty cold day under this deck of clouds that came in here around this disturbance near the Great Lakes and that low deck slid back into green country. This is a disturbance that we're watching for Wednesday morning. It could bring us a couple of wet snowflakes, maybe a little period of some sleep for some of us. Meantime, a bigger storm system will come out and bring us a chance of rain on Thursday. There's the low deck of clouds starting to erode and break up. So under clear skies, we expect a very cold night tonight. 10 p.m. tonight, mainly clear skies overnight tonight. Clear to partly cloudy skies tomorrow afternoon. Just a few high cirrus clouds coming in here, so temperatures should be able to warm back into the 40s. And then here you go Wednesday morning about 4 a.m. Look at that little snow, little sleet, little mix here headed from Tulsa up Interstate 44 toward Grove. This is not significant, will not cause any problems Wednesday morning with some rain down in Muskogee as temperatures are above freezing. Then Wednesday afternoon, couple sprinkles, overcast skies, pretty decent to kind of cold winter day on Wednesday. Then Thursday morning, as we sleep, this is rain again and a cold rain at that with temperatures likely in the lower 40s and that'll race out of here by Thursday afternoon. And then we'll have to wait and see on a system Saturday into Sunday. Uh, coming up at six o'clock, I'm going to give you the entire rest of January outlook based on, of course, the Lezak recurring cycle theory, the repeating cycle theory that just nailed that end of December, December storm that brought us all that rain and, of course, ended up with snow. Today, 35 for the high 21, the low 47 and 28 are the averages. The record high 70 back in 1956, record low 8 below 1947. Right now, we have some partly cloudy skies, 35 degrees, relative humidity at 64% with a light north northeast wind at 6 miles an hour. So grab your coat. We'll have a cold evening with temperatures generally around 33 degrees, dropping to 25 by daybreak tomorrow morning, but it will be colder in those sheltered areas that are protected by the wind. Even though there isn't much wind, we'll drop to 16 at Bartlesville, 25 at Pryor and 26 at Pawnee tonight. Tahlequah down to 22, while Sepulpa and Wagoner drop to 26 and 25 respectively. Whit, uh, Stigler around 26, Holdenville around 28 with a light southeast wind. Then tomorrow, look for a patch of clouds from time to time. Southeast winds about five to 10 miles an hour in the morning increasing in the afternoon to 10 to 15 miles an hour. So there'll be a chilly wind on top of that high around 44 in Tulsa. We should reach 46 in Venita and 46 also at Pawnee and then out in Wagner 45 Muskogee around 46 Oak Okmulgee around 44 and down to the south of Interstate 40 in our southern zones, upper 40s with southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Here's the seven day forecast waking up Wednesday morning, 35, so above freezing. That's why I'm not really concerned much about any of that type of wintry precipitation. Couple sprinkles, 43 Wednesday, Thursday, 54 with strong southerly winds and a 70% chance of rain. Then Friday dries back out. A cold front comes through. This is the leading edge of that Arctic air mass, and it'll be settling in here as we head through the weekend. A uh, low temperature Sunday morning around 20, maybe 22 Monday morning temperatures stuck in the low to mid 30s on Sunday, upper 30s on Monday. It may briefly warm up Tuesday before the second surge of colder air comes in in the second half of next week. And again, we'll go over that in the extended January outlook. And we'll also head, look ahead way to the end of the month when a more significant storm could be headed our way. Brian. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Brett.